LA is bursting with pride this month, but for many, the journey to get to this point has sometimes been painful. Fox 11's Laura Diaz talked with one young man whose coming out nearly drove him to the edge. I was scared, so I decided that I had to keep being gay a secret. That secret, hiding my authentic self, became my everything. Today, 32-year-old single dad, Zach Ament, has a smile on his face. He can finally tell the painful story of his teenage years. He knew he was gay at 13, too young to handle the stress of coming out, too worried about what his parents might say, and too young to drive. But that didn't stop him from stealing his parents' car at 13 and driving east to West Hollywood. I used to come out here to the to the West Hollywood nightlife without anybody knowing with, while, while my parents were asleep um, with the hopes of meeting people that I, that I could be myself around. Stealing my parents' car and driving to West Hollywood at night was really a desperate search to just be able to be myself if, if only for an hour or two. It's nearly impossible for people who are not in his position to understand what Zach went through. And after spending time with him, it's impossible not to feel for him. The loneliness, the fear and isolation drove him to drugs and alcohol at the tender age of 13. I was using drugs to anesthetize myself from the fact that I was keeping the secret that I was gay. By the age of 16, Zach was spiraling out of control with drugs and alcohol. His parents sent him away to rehab, and so began Zach Ament's long and painful journey to today. It wasn't until I entered treatment for my addiction and started working on not being scared of who I was, that I was able to come out of the closet with my therapist at the time by my side. Um, and I pretty much just flat out said, mom and dad, I love you a lot. And I need to tell you that I'm gay. How they responded was very simple. My mother said, I love you and thank you for telling me. Thank you for trusting me enough. But it really wasn't as simple as that. Zach was still an addict. That's a lifetime of work. I had taken some sleeping medications and drank that night and ended up causing a scene on my college campus and, and the cops were involved and I spent a night in jail and I realized that I was giving up everything for, for this kind of addiction that I was struggling with. Another stint in rehab was the turning point. Today, he owns a successful drug rehab center in West Hollywood. He's a role model in the sober and gay community. I knew you were someone I wanted to know. That's Zach's baby son, Koa, who he raises alone after the death of his husband, Justin. Zach is prepared for a certain conversation with his son one day. If the conversation did come up, I would tell my son that people love who they love and they're allowed to marry who they want to marry and this is the beauty of living <laughs> in this world today. In West Hollywood, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.